Hey, welcome back to our channel. It's just me right now. I just finished up a rehearsal for the radio play that I am doing. I think Andrew may have mentioned it last week. And I am kind of feeling a little bit impulsive right now. I think I'm gonna go get my hair cut. All right, folks, so I've decided to take this much off of it. Isn't that wild? Uh, so it'll basically put it up by my shoulders. I did it. It is much shorter and lighter. I feel like I just lost a couple pounds worth of hair, but it feels a lot smoother and whatnot. Also, I loved the leave-in conditioner that she used on it. I don't know what it was, but clearly I gotta find it because it's awesome and it smells really good. But yeah, super happy with it. I'm gonna go home and see what Andrew thinks. Oh, I got a haircut. When did you get a haircut? Just now. Where? My first choice hair cutters. Oh my God, why'd you go there? <laughs> but also, <laughs> also it looks nice. It looks cute. It looks super cute. Now that I see you. I know, because it looks normal. got canceled I uh, well not canceled rescheduled for tomorrow so we are going to trivia at the Capitol complex for the first time in literal months uh, so it used to be every Tuesday it was actually something Andrew and I used to do together when we were in university like before we were even dating I, I we were at cap trivia when my brother told me he got engaged and I said do you want to be my my date for his wedding. Right. Do you remember that? I sort of. I didn't realize we were at the cab. For some reason, I thought we were at the cellar or something mm. like that. But we might have been at the cab. Andrew and his drunken face. Anyways, we're going to trivia tonight. Kaylee invited me. Kaylee works till eight. I don't know if she'll end up showing up and joining our team or show up and join someone else's team. But either way, we're gonna go to trivia. We're gonna have a good time. But I had some random. I had a random car thought while we were driving, and I wanted to ask you okay, when we yeah. do our trip around the world is there any country that you feel comfortable driving in like is there any country that you're like oh yeah let's rent a car and we'll have a car for while we're there i don't think so as canadians we're very very privileged like on top of our passport being a privilege our driver's license is also a privilege it gives us a lot of other licenses throughout the world anyways that was just a random thought uh i was just saying to andrew earlier that oh, we're literally it's literally this time next year we'll already be at our fourth country probably which is absolutely wild all right round one general trivia is done and we thought we got six questions for sure correct one of them we ended up getting wrong but the correct number of answers was eight. So we knew more than we thought. There was a couple guesses that turned out to be right, which is kind of nice. Anyways, uh, it's so hot where we're sitting, which we're only sitting there because uh, we need to be able to hear the speaker. I came out to get a little bit of air. As you can see, there's no one sitting out here. He has our wins in there for trivia. It is something like 30 degrees outside today, which I don't know what that is from my friends who do Fahrenheit. Um, but tomorrow it's supposed to be 33 and it's supposed to be thundery. One thing that I didn't anticipate about the Maritimes is that when you get those hot, hot days, you get rain. But I feel like I don't get a lot of thunder and lightning out here, which is what we used to get in Ontario. The summer weather is here, which is kind of nice. I love it. I love my patio days. Do any other ADHD pals suffer from bad spatial awareness? I knocked over my new fresh thing of beer on Kaylee. 
and our trivia answer sheet, which now can stick to the wall. This is something that has not gotten worse since I've been medicated, but also has not gotten better. So I would like to know. It is another filming weekend and we are off to pick up some stuff at Walmart. Today is Friday and we don't film a lot of Fridays this summer slash fall, but Friday today is one of the days that we're filming. So we're filming one quick scene. We're at the Crown Plaza Hotel tonight, which is kind of fun. And yeah, I need to go and pick up printer ink because I need to print off sides, I need to print off call sheets, I need to print off shot lists. And you need to pick up. I just need to get cheese, uh, non dairy cheese. <laughs> non dairy cheese for one of the for actors. One of the actors. Um, but I think that's it. I think I was looking at my list the other day and I was like, there's nothing else on my grocery list that I really need. But I also realized that you had scheduled tomorrow's lunch for 11.15 in the morning. Yeah. So. Sorry, buddy. No, 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 it's not an issue. It actually means that what I might do is I might set up for breakfast or set up for like just snacks and coffee and stuff mm -hmm. and then bail, come home, cook lunch mm -hmm. and then bring it. Like I'll be texting you or Ben or somebody yeah. and being like, you know, are we close? Are we not? And then I can just bring all the food. That is one of the things about being in a place like a hotel is that we don't have a kitchen. Uh, whereas the last couple weekends we've shot at a friend's house, we shot at an Airbnb. This is a hotel, obviously no kitchen in it. And so Andrew's gonna have to go back and forth and make food and bring it over. But there's a possibility that we could stay overnight and there is a pool, so that would be kind of nice yeah. to have the pool and whatnot. The perks of being the people who pay for the hotel rooms. So anyways, uh, we're almost at Walmart now, so we'll see you later. accomplished we think we forgot to take note of what printer ink we needed so if I have the wrong number I'm gonna come back but Andrew has a meeting at 11 30 so we gotta get back for him it is time to go and check into the hotel I am driving because Andrew's technically on a meeting right now he's just finishing it up and then he's gonna take it well he's finishing up talking and then he's gonna listen to the rest of it while we drive the person who is our camera operator this weekend as well as Brittany our director are currently en route to the hotel but it's under my name so I'm the only one that can check in I gotta get going here it's gonna be for you Andrew. Yeah. It is Sunday morning, which means day three of our film shoot this weekend. I'm currently sitting in the McDonald's drive through It's about 8.30. I'm picking up food for myself and Brittany and Andrew and heading back to set. By the time I get there, the tech crew will already be there setting up and our actors and the rest of the crew show up just after nine. So that's what we're up to today. I think it's gonna be pretty emotional. The scene that we're working on today is actually the scene that um, we had our actors audition with and they made me cry at the audition. So I can only imagine today is just going to be as good. They're taking a while here, so I thought I'd a little update because I haven't done that in a while. dumping footage while we get all the gear out and then we technically have the hotel until tomorrow so we are going to go for a swim today because I've been wanting to for the rest of the weekend and then food because I'm hungry too that's the plan
It is Monday morning. We just finished our three days at the Crown Plaza after having had our film weekend. We are heading for breakfast. It is like just after 8 a.m. Um, and uh, it's a working day. It's raining. It is also raining. And cold. And cold. Okay, yeah. That's weather. Uh, but it is a working day, so we do have to get home by 11, or at least I do. So we're gonna go for breakfast, maybe grab a coffee, and then hit the road. It is a miserable Tuesday, but they are doing construction next door, and the sound and the fact that it is shaking my house is driving me wild. So Andrew has a couple meetings, he has to stay here. I am packing a bag and I'm heading to the landing to do a little bit of work so that I can actually get work done because I know if I stay here, I will not get anything done. I will have to blast music or something so that I can concentrate and that's not great for the type of work that I have to do. So I'm packing a bag, I'm going to the landing and then tonight, is really exciting. We have some auditions for one of the secondary roles in the film that I am doing with Brit. I'm gonna sit down because I'm lazy. And then what else? I gotta edit this vlog. And if you are a regular watcher, you probably know I'm struggling hard to actually get them out on Tuesdays. What do you guys feel about Wednesdays or Thursdays or Fridays? When do you watch vlogs? Or are you one of those people that like as soon as you see that someone you follow has posted something, you watch it? Or do you watch it on a certain day? Let me know in the comments because I would love to know when you are watching these. Yeah, I'm hoping that this construction finishes soon. I have a bunch of stuff that is relying on me to be able to do some voiceover recordings this week in our house and this is not making it easy. So, I'm gonna go do that. Wish me Okay, so drove to the landing. It is absolutely packed. So I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna find somewhere else to go and do some work. The hunt continues. It looks like I'm going to the Perfect Cup Cafe. It is a cat cafe. I've actually never been in the cat room. I have been to the cafe because we literally live around the corner from it. If you've never been to a cat cafe before, basically there's a cafe part and a cat room and you can buy a coffee and go in and sit with the cats, but you have to like book a time and whatnot. And I think you get a half hour. It's pretty busy and it's been pretty busy since it opened, which was a couple years ago. They have decent Wi-Fi sometimes and tables. So that's where I'm gonna go work today. It is better than Construction Alley, which is our road right now. So let's go. Just finished a workout downstairs uh, and quickly realized that uh, our lawn needed a good mowing. It's uh, We didn't know mow May and it's now June. Uh, we also leave tomorrow for PEI and I kind of want to get it done before we leave. So yeah, let's see how this goes because it has grown quite a bit. It is Thursday night and it is actually the first Thursday night garrison night market of the new year. It is basically a home for all things creative, local artisans, local food trucks. And Andrew asked me if I wanted to go for supper and he completely forgot that it existed. So we're gonna go check it out, see if there's anything that we want there. And if not, then we'll visit one of the local restaurants for some food. Andrew has D&D &D tonight. We have to finish packing for PEI tomorrow morning. I think Andrew said he wants to leave at like 7 a.m. So that's the plan.
So, uh, we just got back home. Um, I have D&D &D tonight, so that's my night. But um, I wanted to say thanks for watching. We have a lot going on uh, in June, honestly. Like, I'm looking at this month. I was looking at our calendar earlier, and I'm like, what don't we have going on? Stick around. There's going to be a lot of good stuff coming your way. Uh, we're going to PEI here shortly to see my family. So pretty excited for that. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, subscribe. We would greatly appreciate it. Uh, comment if you want. We appreciate all the comments we've been getting. Try to respond when we can. And we're just super excited. We are getting closer and closer to finally booking this trip. At least the first couple legs. And uh, you don't want to miss it. So thanks.